Hello there. Happy New Year from Billy Ho Sports. This week, we're headed out to Aqueduct this weekend for the 2024 Jerome Stakes. This is going to be a Kentucky Derby prep race, so it will be added to my 2024 Derby Trail playlist. Be sure to check that out for all the latest content. You want to set that notification bell so you don't miss out. Also, obviously, sub into the channel. Hit that like button, leave a comment. All those things help my channel out more than you'll ever know. So I appreciate you guys joining me. The Jerome Stakes has found a place on the Derby Trail over the last few years by offering Derby qualification points to the top five finishers, uh, 10 to the winner, and then it goes 5, 3, 2, 1. Uh, it, the Jerome has actually helped fill a void in the winter time for the New York circuit, for these Derby hopefuls, uh, to for their chance to get off on the right lead, so to speak. So, let's get started. Okay, the Jerome Stakes is going one mile on the dirt, purse of 150,000, aqueduct track, only five entries, and, I, and I'm not really sure if it's due to wintry weather possibilities for Saturday or not. Uh, it is going to be very chilly, mid-30s, uh, but no rain or snow until probably later on that night. So uh, it's going to be a wait-and-see approach, I suppose. But let's get into the contenders. Number one, drum roll, please. Brrrm. Brad Cox, train coat, sired by hard spun. Uh, one of the favorites, most likely, a uh, promising three-year-old. Ran a pretty solid, commendable third in the Remsen Stakes. That was the race we saw door knock breakthrough. Uh, drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Earn a 90 Equibase speed number on the sloppy sealed track. We'll take a look at the Brisnet uh, past performances here shortly. So make sure you stick around for that. Uh, so anyway, he was in good, good position in the stretch, drifted in late and got tired on that one, going a mile and in the eighth in that Remsen. So this one is backing up to a mile. So you would think one. He is in a great spot. Number two, 2023 Derby winning jock Javier Castellano aboard. Number two, Canate, uh, trained by Ty Pletcher, ridden by Manny Franco. Uh, this one less experienced without any stakes races, but back in October broke his maiden by over 10 lengths at Keeneland, then was sent out November 9th. And I keep seeing these horses because that was the only time I made it out to the track was November 9th. But I'm seeing all these horses, so uh, that's kind of a cool thing. This one I saw in an optional claiming race going a mile in the 16th. Uh, it was actually favoring the closers that day, so his early speed did not do him any favors, did not finish well in that race. But uh, I think his uh, chances are much better, obviously, in this smaller field with a more speed-favoring uh, type of setup. So number three is Sweet Soddy J., uh, three wins for trainer Ray Ginter. Most recently was just a week ago, December 30th. I had to double take on that. Went to Laurel Park and won the heft stakes wire to wire with relative ease, which makes me think that's probably why they're wheeling him back so fast. But it still feels a little bit too soon to me. So uh, should face plenty of pressure up front as well. Uh, so I'm not really sure about old sweet Saudi J, but we'll see. Uh, that brings us to Linda Rice. And El Grando, El Grandio probably is how you say that. New York bred colt sired by Take Charge Indy. Uh, some stakes experience, two wins at the Big A. Uh, winning, when moving to grade one level, weakened in the stretch in that Champagne stakes, finishing sixth. Uh, that was pretty high level competition, but I really liked the race in the Sleepy Hollow where he seized the lead early, maintained it throughout the race safely held it all the way through the wire. This one is going to be the uh, my top choice, probably, over drum roll. Uh, I'm kind of leaning that way because of the past speed figures, and we'll look at that in a second. So hang in there. Brittany Russell, new trainer up and coming from the Pimlico race course, looking to make a splash over a New York racing circuit. 
bringing this promising three-year-old uh, Regalo to Aqueduct for the first test in stakes competition. Uh, this horse has two wins and a second in just three starts. Regalo pressed the pace in a in an allowance race, optional claiming at Laurel, covering the mile in a 16th. Down the stretch, was able to break away for the win. So uh, the race itself, let's go take a look at the past performances and we'll talk about it. Okay, as you can see, the specs here is a one uh, one turn mile starting from the chute. That's always important to look at if you have a one or a two turn mile. So this one has a long chute like Churchill Downs does. And then we'll uh, go take a look at the speed El Grandio all across the board, and then drum roll is the best speed at this particular distance. But like I was saying, these are equibase speed figures. So drum roll, solid 93 in the Remsen. Uh, Kanate, uh, 87. Sweet Saudi J got a 91 for that big win in the heft. But this is what I wanted to show you. El Grandio uh, ran a 94 in the Sleepy Hollow. And then if you look at the back class before the champagne, it's got a 97 and a 99 in the funny side. Uh, Skidmore, uh, this is just a big step up, and that's just back in uh, September. And really just off tracks all the way. So I'll be interested to see how this one runs on an actual fast track. So uh, we'll see about that. But like I said, the race does set up seemingly for drum roll, please, to close down the stretch. But uh, I think the obvious choice is El Grandio. And then we have Regalo is getting some love too. Early speed helps. But I'm not really certain for Pletcher's strategy on uh, uh, I keep wanting to call it Kanate. I believe that's how you say it. Uh, I'm not really sure if they can get this horse to rate. Manny Franco in the saddle. I think they'll be in good shape to steal it, possibly at some value, but with only five horses in the field, it's really difficult. Not a race I'm going to be looking to bet. So we'll, uh, we'll stop it there. Like I said, not a race I'll be looking to bet overall, but if I can get something two to one or better on either drum roll, please, or El Grandio, then I might jump on that. Uh, it will depend on how, how it's going to shake out. I'm going to be more of a, an observer on these races and uh, stay tuned because I do have the uh, grade two San Vicente going out West at Santa Anita. So uh, appreciate you watching and until next time, see you soon.